Hello and welcome, my name is Jessica Jem. Ah, spring, the time of year where birds start to sing, flowers bloom, the temperature rapidly changes from cool to warm back to cool so that you never know what to wear, and life reawakens from the chill of winter. Easter has just passed, and whether you celebrate with church or chocolate or not at all, for many, it signifies the start of the season of renewal. For this video, I decided to merge a few concepts that have been swirling around in my brain a bit. Let's start with the elephant color in the room. I began this piece in grayscale. I wanted to try out this method of working, as it is a total mystery to me as to how people pull it off effectively. Since I want this piece to be very light and soft for the pastel style of spring, it seemed like a good time to subtly ease into a focus on values. Also, definitely pre-thought out and not at all coming up with it as I write the script, the transformation from cold grey into vibrant colour is like the transitions of seasons itself. Ha, <laughs> I'm so clever. Anyways. I also recently came across a video about digitally painting materials, and while I didn't go full Easter ham into the idea, I did keep some bits of info in mind while working on this. I'm not the best digital painter, but it is a style I admire and want to be better at. So this video, How to Paint Any Material, Introduction to the Form Principle, from Forrest Mel was quite helpful in the way he describes specularity and gloss in particular. I kept it in mind throughout the process, and I do think it really helped. The main inspiration behind the base of this concept is this post by Avelina Farms on Instagram about the soup cart. Ice cream trucks are great, but in the winter we need a soup truck. Do they even understand how much money I'd spend if there was a truck rolling through my neighborhood every day doling out piping hot soup? I thought that was an awesome idea that I would genuinely love. It sounds super ren fair, and I very much want to experience one. Of course, if I was doing this idea, I had to change it into an old-fashioned cart vendor instead, because cottage slash fantasy core is my draw pun intended. For a cute little soup cart, I couldn't have just anyone running it. Definitely not because I didn't want to figure out painting a human yet. So sticking with the Easter theme, we have someone who will hoppily spring to the task. A bunny. The design for her took a little bit of figuring out as I'm not super adept at drawing animals. I didn't really want her to just be humanoid furry style so I tried to make more storybook rabbit lady proportions. I was going to have her be young at first, but I tried out teeny little circle glasses on her and couldn't let them go, so she's an elderly age instead. And who better to go with a grandma bunny than a cute little mouse boy looking for some spring soup? No deep thought behind him, I just thought it was a neat idea. For the style of rendering, I was very inspired by Inkwell underscore illustrations on Instagram. Their painting is almost exactly what I envisioned for this piece, though obviously I'm not anywhere near their level of expertise. I mainly looked at this picture as it has both a cart and rabbit and is just so cool, so make sure to go check it out. Links for all references and posts below. Using the tips from Forrest, I set into painting with all the knowledge I've gained through osmosis over time, and even with my very limited history, I was able to apply a decent amount of legitimate practices to this process. I did use layers to adjust things as I went, like lightening or darkening whole areas that I had already rendered, but I tried to always merge them down while I was still in grayscale so that it was more similar to an actual digital painting process of limited ability to modify individual layers. I did keep the main sections separate from each other for ease of coloring later so that I didn't have to be completely precise as well. Speaking of colors, I decided to use this color palette from the March prompt from the Artistry Discord, slightly adjusted to suit my needs of course, mainly by making the yellow warmer. 
I missed the deadline for the submissions this month, but that's okay since these were more or less the colors I was planning on using either way. It was basically just tossing them on wherever I had preset the values in my head, using mostly overlay layers with a few random effects thrown in to polish it off. There was definitely more I wanted to do with this piece, including some movement, which I may add on later when I have more time, so keep an eye out in case there's a short on that later. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I missed last week, I had a family emergency, but I worked late this time to get this out to you. If you enjoyed this video, please grant me a like, and if you'd like to see more of my art, subscribe to join me. That's all for now, so farewell and have a wonderful day.